right now you're really listening. You're, 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 you're captured by whatever is happening, right? You think I'm a meaningful person for you to ask a question of. I, I, that's a real compliment, thank you. Appropriate technology to me means finding the cheapest and simplest tool to do the job. My impression always from riding in a rickshaw to seeing small enterprises on the sidewalk is that Bangladesh was amazing. Uh, the entrepreneurial spirit in Bangladesh was amazing. And over time, the level of rapid change was astonishing. In, in growth of markets, growth of uh, the number of people that have their own enterprises. Entrepreneurs you could see on the river. If you go on a ferry, you have people selling things and making things. So the, the, the misleading assumption people have about a, a rural country like Bangladesh is that people are very, they need to be taught everything. No, uh, what I learned very quickly is that they, they the f small farmers I interviewed became my teachers and my friends. They were not people that I could swoop in from outside and tell them what they needed. Uh, we learned stuff together. Gunnar Barnes, who was a volunteer with uh, the rural uh, RDRS, R R Ranjpur Dinajpur Rural Service. Uh, that was in, uh, in uh, Ranjpur Dinajpur. He, working with a local person in Bangladesh, uh, developed this treadle pump. We thought it was less, uh, less effective because for one thing, it, it required taking uh, some, a soft steel sheet and bending it and then welding it and it was bumpy and so on. But more and more, we got feedback that the farmers preferred it to the roar pump. He experimented also with different materials, we like uh, concrete and things, but we settled for the mild steel sheet metal pumps in the end. Now we had to uh, figure out how we could market. How do you take it national? And uh, we then, uh, our team here, uh, uh, started looking at how different products were mass marketed in Bangladesh. So one thing led to another and we got a grant eventually uh, from CETA Canada. We used it to learn how to market donkey carts in Somalia and how to market treadle pumps here. And uh, we ended up uh, doing a Bollywood movie, a Bollywood style movie. By this time, Swiss were involved, the Swiss Development Cooperation, and Urs Hirely was a major leader in that. Uh, so we created this movie, um, and uh, it was called The Goose That Lays the Golden Egg. A team was developed with a generator and a screen, and they would schedule a movie, and then they would go with uh, with auto rickshaw miking and say, there's a big movie on tonight. And we had an average attendance of 5,000 people at every open air showing. Talk about transforming markets or creating new markets. The treadle pump was, was unknown. So we had to create a name for it. So and I've been looking for people who have their own dream and whose dream fits with our dream. You want to hear a poem? So here's one of a poem I wrote 20 years ago. It's called The Deeper River. I have in me a deeper river that flows toward the light. It does not ask me where to flow, it flows. And I flow with it. And then the river becomes the light and we are one.